Hey everyone, my name is Artindi and this is a tutorial of sorts that will explain some of the logic needed to make a tile set for your 2D game. I've learned a lot while making my own game and this is what I have found while thinking things through. So let's just keep it short and simple and get right into it. Quick disclaimer, the tile set I'm using here is extremely simple and is only for the use of this video. Trust me, I can draw much better than that. Also, the logic here is meant only for collidable surfaces. Most basic tile sets will include the following tiles. Corner tiles, floor, wall, and ceiling tiles if the game is a platformer, or just all wall tiles if it's a top-down, and an inside tile. I don't know if it has an official name, so we'll just call it Fernando. There was something One thing that we still need is inside corner tiles, such as these. With just these tiles, we can make all the walls and corners that can exist on the 90 degree angles. Sweet and simple, but do you see what we're missing? I didn't tell I actually tried to use this many tiles to make some levels. The problem is that with only these tiles, any walls between rooms or platforms we make will have to be two tiles wide for it to look good. So we can add these tiles. You have your double-sided wall tiles, and some three-sided wall tiles. This will help us make most platforms and most walls between rooms. But now we have another problem. If the double or triple-sided tiles, or wall tiles, connect in any other way than just this, or to other things than just multi-sided tiles, then we will need a few more tile types. We will need double inside corner tiles, then triple inside corner tiles, and double corner tiles where the corners are across from each other. But this is for if one wide tiles are connecting to a larger section of wall or floor. If we have one wide tiles connecting to other one wide tiles, we will need some more tiles for that. These tiles will include elbow turns, T intersections, and a four way intersection. Then for when a single one wide tile connects to a corner of a larger section of tiles, you will need these and their inverse version. Hopefully you can kind of see how these would be important, maybe. It is surprisingly hard to explain each of these. Now after you have all of these, you may want some ramps, and one wide ramps. If you want shallower ramps that extend over several tiles, then you will have to figure that one out yourself. Sorry, there are just too many combinations for me to list them all here. I don't have that kind of time, maybe in the future if people want it. There's still one tile we're missing. Pause the video now and see if you can figure it out. No, just kidding, I'll tell you. It's the opposite of Fernando, a tile with a surface on every side. We will call it Helga. Depending on the needs of your game, you will need about this many tiles for whatever situation may come up. And this is what your tile sheet might look like. Hopefully this is, was, or will be helpful to you. It definitely was for me. So when it comes to tile set logic, Thank you so much for watching. I really enjoyed making this one, so hopefully you enjoyed watching it. If you did and you want to see more, you know what to do. Otherwise, I appreciate any feedback that you send me. Um, it, it's just really helpful. So, I don't know, rambling at this point. Have a good day.